everyone welcome everybody my name is Jocelyn and today I thought we would film a kind of get ready with me it's been a while since I've been able to sit down and just kind of talk chat with you it's been kind of crazy lately in my life and it feels like I have a lot of updates it feels like I've been very go 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 for the last like month month and a half so I thought we would just talk and I would do my makeup with you. I will have listed down below most if not everything that I'm using today but just as a heads up for the eyes I think I'm, I'm gonna use these two palettes right here the Dose of Colors Sassy Siennas and the Huda Beauty Coral Obsessions. Huda Beauty I'm a little fuzzy on her cruelty free status uh, but Dose of Colors is cruelty free. So I'm gonna go for a very warm toned look. I think I want to go for an all matte look maybe using mostly the colors in here and then maybe put the yellow in the Huda Beauty palette in the inner corner with maybe a shimmer. I don't know. We'll see. Um, I'm also using, I think, a couple project pan items and just some other things that I pulled in from my shop, my stash at the beginning of July. I am going to start with priming my eyes using the Ofra Eye Gel Primer. And I'll go ahead and set that using the beige shade in the Kat Von D shade in light palette. I'm trying to pan that shade at the moment. So I'm kind of trying to use it whenever possible. So as I mentioned, it's been very, very busy. I, I think it started the weekend before my birthday. I cannot remember for the life of me what we did. My birthday was June 8th and we did something the weekend before and then it was my birthday weekend. So that was busy. And then our roommate graduated or our old roommate graduated that next weekend there was something going on like every single weekend in June and the beginning of July and then currently it's a Friday while I'm filming this and I took this last week off and uh, we went camping last weekend until Tuesday and then Wednesday I had to go into work for a little while and then prep for a booth we did for 4th of July which was yesterday and then we did the booth crazy busy and then we went and saw Spider-Man Homecoming last night and that was really really good really excited that we were able to go see that opening week and and uh, now today it is uh, my friend Paige's birthday and you know her if you saw my last thoughts on drops video which was a long time ago actually that we filmed that a couple months ago but she's been on my channel it's her birthday today so I'm gonna go have lunch with her and my friend Brie and then I'm gonna try and spend like the next two and a half days or so filming editing cleaning the house and that kind of stuff so that's kind of a brief rundown not including the biggest thing that's been going on in Alex and I's life I don't know if you know this yet but we and if you're brand new to my channel Alex is my husband we've been married for well, we've been together for 11 12 years? Coming up on 12 years, I think. We've been together for 12 years, married for almost two. So Alex and I are trying to buy a house and we've had showings for three houses and then we went to two open houses and we actually ended up putting an offer first on a duplex that was really beautiful, brand new, basically had never been lived in before, but it was a duplex. It was also like 1,700 square feet, which is huge. Everything was new. All appliances were included except the washer and dryer. It was beautiful, but they ended up going with someone else. We were in, or we're, I guess we're still technically in a backup position for that place. And they have a new one coming up at the end of July. But then we had a showing for another a house, an actual house in a more desirable location for the same price, but it was only, it was less than 1200 square feet but more than 1100 but not much more it was a pretty small house but it had a huge backyard a hot tub a garden area a large front yard a pretty decent sized kitchen it was beautiful it had three bedrooms two baths the other problem with that house that we looked at is that all of our furniture would have maybe just barely fit because we have pretty big bedroom furniture <laughs> dining table couch all of it's like relatively large ish and so we were kind of worried that it wouldn't have fit in that house but we went ahead and put an offer on it and we kind of bent over backwards for them but something about somebody else's offer was more attractive to them and so they ended up going with them and we were really bummed we were really disappointed about that because it just felt like such a perfect starter home and it was in a really, really good location. I And I had started, which was dumb, I shouldn't have done this, but I had started 
thinking about like having a housewarming party there and things that I wanted to change. Like there were some closet doors that were in, not in great condition. So I was like, oh, maybe we can like update those before we move in. And it was really disappointing. We were really bummed when we got that call. Even our realtor was really disappointed for us because he thought that we were gonna get it and we didn't. So we're still on the hunt, still looking out and checking Zillow and other for sale sites to see if something pops up in our price range and that meets our criteria. It's a process. It's, it's, I guess it's as difficult as I thought and was expecting it to be. So I'm not really that surprised, but being in the moment and in the process of trying to buy a home and then finding one, putting an offer in and then having it rejected, it's not fun. Hmm. I kind of feel like I want to put that bright color. This all over the eye and then this, oh yeah, that in the inner corner. Okay, so let's, let's go ahead and deepen the outer corner out a little bit. So yeah, the house buying situation is probably the biggest stressor right now and is taking up the most time just because we're constantly on the lookout for something to pop up and we're always like scheduling showings to go see things. It has to be a constant thing. That's what I've learned the most is you can't go see something and then like it and then sit on it. You have to like really initiate because the house that we put an offer in on this week actually, it went on the market Monday, I think afternoon, we got back into town from camping Tuesday. We went and saw it Tuesday afternoon, put an offer in Tuesday night, and it was sold the next day. So it was sold by Wednesday, which is crazy. Fortunately, we're still in a good position. Our lease on our apartment isn't up until August 31st. So I think we have until August 31st to put our 30 day notice in, which would give us until September 31st to move out. And usually the minimum closing period is 30 days. So as long as we, in the middle of August or so, find something we should be okay our apartment complex no longer offers month to month they did the last time we got our lease renewal which was at the beginning of the year and we signed a six month lease but now like a few months later they no longer offer month to month so we'll have to sign a new lease uh, for six months at least and then probably end up having to break the lease once we find something but that's just the way it is okay so next i want to take i think this will work or perhaps not. All right, fine. Where's a concealer? Do I even have a concealer? Um, what? My concealer has gone missing. What is happening? Okay, is it right in front of me and I'm just not seeing it? How did I lose a concealer? I know where it is. But I think I want to use, actually, now that I've spent all this time looking for it, I think I want to use the NYX HD Studio Photogenic Concealer because it's a little lighter and I, I think, maybe it's not, I don't know. I'm going to go ahead and use this though because I think it's a little bit lighter. We'll use this ColourPop Flat Definer Brush and we'll pick up some of that concealer. I'll just kind of... That'll do. The shade I'm taking all over my eye, or at least trying to, is this top, middle, bright pinky, like coral? Bright, corally, pinky color? Let's see if this helped at all. Yeah, I think that helped. Hmm, hmm, hmm. I feel like I need something darker in the outer corner, but maybe not. Oh yeah, okay. So I'm actually gonna dip into my Naked Cherry palette right now, and I'm gonna take the shade Devilish. It's this really dark berry color, and I'm gonna take a little bit of that into my outer crease, just because I wanted it to deepen it up a little bit, but I didn't want to put something super brown there. Yeah, just a little bit like that. I want a little bit of a wing. So let me throw on a little bit of a wing. Yeah, basically just like that. And now we're gonna move on to the face. So what I think I'm gonna do is I think I'm gonna start with the CoverGirl Clean Matte BB Cream for oily skin. And then I think I'm gonna put the Kat Von D Lock It Powder Foundation on top. I am trying to project pan this. That's why we're gonna try and use some of this, but I'm kind of worried that this is breaking me out. So that's why I'm gonna try and use this first to kind of create some kind of barrier. So we'll see if it works or not. I'm also not gonna put the BB cream on my nose because I've noticed that it sinks into the pores there. Maybe I need to put some kind of a primer on my nose.
Sometimes I use a brush to blend the BB cream in and then some other times I just use my handy dandy hands. Now, let's go ahead and put that foundation on. I am gonna use the IT Cosmetics Brush 101, the Airbrush Blurring Foundation Brush. And we're gonna pick up this Kat Von D Lock It Powder foundation and just kind of start pressing it onto my face. So I spoke earlier about how I went camping this last weekend. My dad and stepmom always rent an area up by a lake in Oregon uh, and then invite us up during the time that they're up there to camp with them for a while. They usually rent it for around a week near 4th of July. We always go up usually for three nights or so and we set up a tent on their campsite and then we just kind of hang out with them and my dad has a boat so usually we go out on the boat and get wrecked on an inner tube and it's very fun we got extra wrecked this year because we have a new tube that like sits on top of the water and just it can do some damage but we all had still a lot of a lot of fun and nobody was like you know nobody really got seriously injured there was no need for like medical attention or anything like that i'm gonna take this smaller brush and i'm gonna take that same foundation and just kind of work it under the eyes this is essentially also going to be my concealer so yeah that's what we do every summer usually around fourth of july as we go up camping for a little while i want to know from you what are some traditional summer activities that you do or what do you do for fourth of july do you have traditions that you do we currently as i mentioned earlier live in an apartment so we don't have the capabilities to light off fireworks of our own but if we ever get a house i would love to be able to light off fireworks like in our front drive i used to love doing that as a kid it used to be one of my favorite things all right face has been sort of completed but not really uh let's go ahead and throw on some eyebrows so they're not looking so sparse oh i need to get this wrapped up swiftly because my friend and i and other friend are all meeting at other friend's house to go to lunch for Paige's birthday. And of course, I'm like nowhere near finished. I feel just behind in every sort of way. I'm behind with the house. I've had the week off of work, so I'm sure I'm behind there. I'm behind on YouTube comments. I do apologize. I feel just, I, I get caught up and I feel really good about it. And then just before I know it, I've slipped behind. And there are comments out there from so long ago that I haven't even like touched and it makes me sad and I feel so bad about it. That's probably my biggest struggle is I love interacting. That's like kind of part of why I do this whole thing is to interact with people who interact with me. And then I just suck really. And that sucks. I need to set some time aside this weekend maybe. But hopefully the next time that I film a get ready with me, I will have good news for you in terms of having a home, which would be really cool. Oh, it's gonna be so exciting to have a house to be able to organize and actually hang things up and hopefully have some kind of yard to be able to put Christmas decorations up during December and maybe like a front window that we can display our Christmas tree in. I have a Pinterest board on Pinterest, of course, called Ideas for an Ideal Abode. And I've got so many just like pinned pins there for things that I'd like to do with a future home. Hmm, <laughs> maybe I should do a little bit of that bright pink color just for consistency sake. It's looking pretty good. My eyes are popping if I do say so myself. Okay, and then, oh, that darker berry color from the Naked Cherry. We'll take a little bit of that and kind of put it on the outer corners. I'm also project panning the shade Sombre in here, this Kat Von D palette. So I'm gonna take some of that and buff it into the hollows of my cheek. Going into the Morphe Blush Palette. This is the, excuse you, ma'am. This is the Warm Master 8W Palette. We're gonna take some of this shade and blend it on. And then maybe, maybe a little bit of this provocative, that's what it's called, just cause it matches the eye look. All right, 
What do I have left? Um, mascara, highlight, oh, the yellow on the inner corner, right? Okay, back into the Huda Beauty palette, this yellow in the bottom corner. I don't know that I've really used this much, if at all. I feel like I need another brush. We're gonna take this Sigma Domed Utility E34 brush, this is what it looks like. That's a little more densely packed, so we're gonna pick some of that yellow up. Hmm. It's showing up a little bit more. Well, that's a bit disappointing. I want more, give me more. I might have to dip into another palette. Yeah, I want more than that, and that's all it's giving me, so. All right, the rainbow palette does have a yellow, so we're gonna go ahead and dip into that. Let's go ahead and see if this packs more of a punch. I think so, oh yeah. Can you tell? I don't know, can you tell? Maybe? It's a little lighter than the one in the Huda Beauty palette, but it does look a bit more pigmented. Yeah. Yeah. I would like some shimmer, I think, in that inner corner. So I think I'm gonna put some of the Lion, which is one of the Zodiac pigments. I'm gonna wet my brush. I'm gonna use just the same Sigma brush. And just pop it. Oh yeah. That's what I wanted. Okay, all right. Highlight, I'm gonna use the ColourPop Super Shock Highlight in the shade On The Cusp. This is also a Kathleen Lights and ColourPop collaboration product. Just take my finger and kind of dab it onto my cheeks. Take some on the tip of my nose. I apologize that I'm like flipping you off. Ooh, pretty. I'm also gonna take a tiny brush, try and pick some of this up for the brow bone. Oh, moons. <laughs> She's just chilling. Okay, we are almost done. Mascara. I'm gonna use the Milk Kush Mascara. This is just a deluxe size. Don't mess up, don't mess up, don't mess up. <gasps> no, no, do you see? Do you see the dot of black? Dang it, dang it, I tried so hard. Okay, try and... Oh, I made it worse. All right, I fixed it, but I took away some of the glitter, so I need to reapply. What did I do with that brush? Boop, 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 boop. Perfect, all right. So, mm. ooh, you know what? Or, yeah. Hmm. Are you eating my chair? The disrespect. Yeah, well, that looks good enough. All right, and here is the finished look. I'm actually really, really happy with this. I've been really loving the whole like matte eye with the shimmer in the inner corner, specifically the Zodiac pigments that Paige got me beginning of the year, like right when they launched. Very happy with the way this turned out. Hopefully I get to wear it out. Well, I am wearing it out and about. We're going to lunch right now, so I need to get going. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed. If you did, give it a thumbs up, and if you would like to subscribe for more content from me, if you are not already subscribed, but if you're watching this video and still watching this video, you're probably already subscribed, let's be honest. But with that being said, thank you so much for watching. I hope to see you in a future video, and I think that's everything. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next one.